Constantly evolving developments in imaging have allowed doctors to view the human heart by using cardiac imaging that shows remarkable detail and clarity. Dr. Dipti Ichapuria of Hogue Memorial Hospital Presbyterian in Newport Beach explains this new method of cardiac imaging. Cardiac imaging is a broad uh, term that describes the various techniques used to image the heart. And depending on what your question is, you decide which technique you're going to use to image the heart. If you're interested in, say, how a particular valve functions because somebody is short of breath and we think it's because of the valve, you may do an echocardiogram. That may be the appropriate cardiac imaging technique to use. If you're interested in a heart blockage and whether somebody has a significant heart blockage, you may consider um, nuclear stress testing, treadmill testing with, uh, say, stress echocardiography or one of the newer modalis, modalities, which is a cardiac CT. A multi-slice CT is something that we're all excited, excited about in the cardiac field. What it really is is a CAT scan, and you are injected with a, a bolus of contrast or dye. And within one breath hold, we're able to get a three-dimensional view of the heart that actually looks at the arteries that nourish the heart muscle to see if there is plaque inside those arteries. The 3D echo is also one of the newer techniques that's come out. You can see it in three-dimensional. So you can see it rotation, rotating and, and are able to see angles in, and views that we may not have seen with traditional echocardiography. We have our, um, the MRI machine and cardiac MR to be able to look at heart function and be able to give, get more information, not only about anatomy, what the blockages are, but how is the heart functioning? And the cardiac MRI gives you a whole new look at that. So it becomes important to have, not only have the ability to be able to go through risk assessment, but to be able to say in these high risk patients, do they have a certain amount of plaque burden already building? And if they do, then I think patients are much more motivated to make lifestyle changes. I mean, if I sit here and tell you that you have, you know, because of family history and all that, you have a lot of risk factors. Maybe you're diabetic, maybe you're overweight, maybe you're a smoker. Um, and I tell you, okay, you need to stop smoking. I want you to lose weight. How apt are you to do that? Now, I tell you the same information, but now I show you a CT scan that shows plaque inside those arteries. And I'm able to show you those pictures. And I will tell you that this plaque will continue to develop and build if you don't change your life. Are you more apt to change your lifestyle based on the pictures? They say a picture is worth a thousand words. A patient that was, you know, in his early 50s, his um, early 50s meaning about 51, his father died when he was 55. We did a cholesterol test and his cholesterol was high and he said to me, I don't believe in taking medications. And I said, but the data is there, 30 to 40% reduction in terms of heart attack risk. Nope, still couldn't get him. He was the perfect patient for a CT scan. We did the CT scan, he came in for his next visit, and we sat down with the pictures and said, what do you, th you know, I wanna show you. And his arteries, not only did they have a lot of calcification, but inside, there was moderate plaque burden. I mean, he could see the pictures. And, and all of a sudden, it was like, what can I do? He had a lifestyle change. It was sort of like the light bulb just went on, said, this is what I need to do. And it took a picture to make that difference.